Welcome back to the Boozecast, everybody. I'm Nero Foxclaw, and today on the Boozecast, we have something a, a little different. I've been slowly trying it, and I found that I rather like it. So today, we're going with Walking Stick Bourbon. We have the walking stick, well, just walking stick. And uh, so it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 90 proof, single barrel. So if I remember correctly, single barrel, it all comes out of one barrel and 90 proof. So they cut it a little bit because that's definitely not barrel strength now that I'm thinking about it. And I've been drinking this for about a month, yes. It's not a lot missing. I've been drinking it for about a month. Uh, but there's a reason why this isn't empty in a month. The holidays were recent and the wife bought me a bunch of booze and I'm slowly drinking it. Matter of fact, on my shelf, I have um, a little globe that she got me, a little uh, decanter, and it's got uh, Devil River in it. And we will uh, do a show with Devil River and the globe. I'll let you guys see that craziness. Um, but today we're doing walking stick, so 90 proof, single barrel, 40, it's on a weird print, 43% alcohol by volume? I guess that's 90 proof. I don't think there's any more information on here. Government warning, bottled by the Founders Company of Louisville, Kentucky. Alright, now, on previous episodes, previous seasons, if you remember, we did a shot and a drink. Well. I'm not a fan of the shots, so I've migrated. These are Glencairn glasses. They are from a Scotch whiskey I refuse to pronounce because I will butcher their name, and I absolutely love this Scotch, uh, but I believe it is Bunahabian. Bunahabian. B-U-N-N-A-H-A-B-H-A-I-N. So it's an Isla um, whiskey. Scotch, but uh, it's Glencairn glass. Uh, I've been loving these glasses. They're nice. They're great for nosing. They're great for tasting. So we will do a taste and then we'll do a drink. One of my favorite drinks with whiskey. So we're going to taste our whiskey first. Now I'm not going to do a full pour for this. Let's just do a nice little nose of it. Oh, now it, it even being 90 proof, it's not alcohol forward. Like I'm almost getting like buttered almonds. So butter, almond, almost like it, it's, it's, it's a heavy nut. It's not like peanut or anything weird like that. It's a nut. Definitely caramel. All right. Lancha. It's, it's sweet. This, okay, at 90 proof, you'd expect, burn, harsh, alcohol, hurt. It's sweet. This thing's almost sugary. And it, and it stays on the tongue. Um, but there's a thing you can do with some whiskeys and you just drop a little water in it and it separates the oils and you get even more flavors. Now, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not, I'm not a whiskey aficionado. I'm not a whiskey sommelier. I'm not um, the whiskey vault, the whiskey tribe, or anything like that. They know whiskey. So if you want to see whiskey, uh, I'll do a shout out to them, the, the whiskey vault guys. Um, I absolutely love their shit. I watch their shit all the time. So I'm not as versed as they are, but I know what I like. And I really like this. Now, every whiskey I have in my house, save for one, I've purchased or the wife has purchased for me and they've been spot on for my flavor profiles. Um, one of them I have that I did not purchase or and the wife did not purchase uh, was uh, Peter McKenna. 
whiskey, uh, and a friend of mine gave me that because he didn't like it, it was too strong. Now, uh, I will try to put the Peter McKenna on, on the show, um, and we'll do a whole myriad of that. But uh, this one, the walking stick, the walking stick, I keep saying the walking, like it needs the word the, but eh, whatever, they call it walking stick. It's so sweet, like, this boggles my mind, 90 proof, and it's, it's like brown sugar, butter, toasted nuts. The wife wants in on this, so it's the glass, it's gonna, it's gonna leave screen, she's gonna, she's gonna fucking try it. Okay, not her cup of tea. She didn't immediately go, ah, but. There's something about this whiskey, and I don't know what it is, but I rather enjoy it. So we're gonna finish this, and then we're gonna make a drink, one of my favorite drinks. And like I said, even at 90 proof, there's no burn. There is no burn to this. So, we are gonna make one of my favorite whiskey drinks, and I'm not sure this is the best whiskey for it. I think this is a good sipping whiskey, and not a, a mix whiskey but we are going to make a whiskey sour so uh, I stole my wife's uh, Di Sirono glasses these are essentially just rocks glasses all right so whiskey sour now this is a whiskey sour my way not the correct way it's my way so this is how I kind of like them when I make them when I go to a bar they make them their way and I generally like what they make so this is my whiskey sour using 90 proof walking stick, single barrel. That still confuses me. That is 90 proof instead of like barrel strength stuff. I guess that's what kept the price down. This thing was, it was only like 30 bucks. I've rather enjoyed it. It's actually nice. So, well, 30 bucks for me. It might be different for where you guys are, so. Nice, tart, bright. This is a summer drink. And here in Florida, in the middle of winter, actually, it's almost spring. I think spring is like next week. Okay, the end of winter in summer, summer, or in summer. In Florida, summer started a month ago. Yeah. So, um, my whiskey sour, nice, bright, tart, delicious, 90 proof alcohol, oh, you can't beat it. This is a good sip and drink. Now, if you want this alcohol, this, um, single, there's really, everything I've been getting so far has like nothing written on it. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, single barrel, 45, it is a five. 45% alcohol by volume, 90 proof. Okay, so I recommend this. I really do. It's a great sipping whiskey. Uh, as far as my palate's concerned, your palate might be different. You might like something else. Um, but I think this is a good sit down, enjoy, chew the fat with your friends kind of whiskey. Maybe smoke a cigar and enjoy it. Um, if you don't like it straight, if you don't like it sipping wise, make a mix. So uh, this is what I recommend. If you don't want it straight, something like this is the way to go. Uh, especially with a nice, it's mild, 90 proof, and it's mild. It boggles my mind. Usually they're freaking 45. The, they water them the hell down or rah, they make more bottles of it. So I don't know. I really enjoy this one. So. This might be one of those rare occasions where it's uh, a high bottle cap count. I recommend it. I'm gonna, I, I'm always hesitant to say 10 out of 10, um, but I think I'm going to. She, she's flashing numbers at me and she's wrong in this case, I think. So I'm going to say Walking Stick Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, single barrel, is 10 out of 10 bottle caps. So for a 10 out of 10, I rather enjoy sipping it. I rather enjoy mixing it. 
This is a whiskey I think I'm gonna keep coming back to. I really think this is a whiskey I will continue to have in stock in my bar cabinet for as long as they make this shit. So, here's to you, Slante. So, until next time, guys, stay loaded. I hear my neighbor's chickens. <laughs>